मामला नहीं है जय हिंद सर जय हिंद करीम rational animal human is rational animal the difference is rationality and animality this rationality has driven us to move forward the human civilization has advanced step by step we have never seen that the civilization has gone backwards when the constituent assembly was discussing about the constitution you are well aware the role of governors was discussed it was decided upon discussion the governor cannot be another source of power governor should act following the advice of the elected representatives and the representative of the government this is a settled principle and on the basis we have advanced to a people's government where the governor was a fundamental constitutional head to keep liaison with the center the basic principle was that the federal principle and federal governance as per our constitution is carried forward when the constitution was adopted then delhi was not a state that was the union territory like many others i am not going to give examples that rationality has driven us to go forward and advance to the stage that the delhi would be a state with certain restrictions and the people will have the right of governance through their representative this was the advancement of the constitution that's why the constitution amendment and 239 aa was incorporated now what we see we find today that we are going backwards the governor or the bureaucrats they are bound by the constitutional principle and constitutional morality to be answerable to the elected representative that is the republic that's the republic democratic republic the constitution make us thought of no question of this party and that party that was the result of independent struggle i know some people did not have the legacy of independent struggle they might have a different outlook different thought but this representative government is the outcome of independent struggle which the people fought giving their lives sacrificing lives not surrendering their own right at the behest of the british mercy now what this and what this rule is what this bill for bill is sought to replace the ordinance why the ordinance came for let us analyze stage by stage i am not going to have a quarrel with this party or that party the house is for discussion of the constitutionality of this bill nobody questions the power of parliament having power is one thing but exercise of power is wisdom unless you have the wisdom the power gives you absolutely autocratic authority which is against the basic principle of our constitution sa have you noticed you were the governor and you felt that in spite of the best of your desire you have to be bounded by the aid and advice of the government that was your practically frustration that without the aid and advice of the government i cannot do anything because the constitution thought of again i repeat the representation of the people people is the last word they have chosen might be xyz you are liking or not liking in the delhi bill have you seen i have never seen the constitution of india the supreme court had said even the president of india doesn't have unguided discretion or you are by a law parliament will say you have a sole discretion would the parliament invite the autocracy this indian parliament this law invites autocracy this law speaks of throw away the people's government i appoint a bureaucrat i appoint somebody of my choice he will dictate you will be subservient to this have you gone to this bill 
this bill would take us to completely the stage of animality, not the stage of advanced humanity for which we feel proud of. We, the people of India, we thought of governance. I was reading this bill. It reminded me the 1926 Act of Kolkata Corporation, where the executive was the superior. Mayor was just a subservient force. That was thrown away by the people. Now, here also, we have, under the Constitution, created third tier of government. Democracy means distribution of power. Democracy means not centralization of power. These bills are only empowers a particular individual. He might be a wise man, but maximum power without any guidance would lead him to an autocrat, not less than the Hitlerite autocracy, which will take us to a doom. I have already submitted. Here, everybody has said, the chief minister is nothing but a puppet. Puppet of whom? The bureaucrats. Bureaucrats will dictate and chief ministers to follow. Is this the way you respect the constitutional principle and morality? Here the bill says, and in fact, this bill is total, I am not reading through the clauses, abdication of the governance by the people's representative. I would, add, I would request all, don't be guided by your petty political feeling. This will lead to a situation, tomorrow I will say, the Orissa government, Orissa chief minister has to be subservient to the governor, yeah. I pass rule. Yeah. What would you do? The home minister's praise in the meeting would not give you result. They will say there is a precedent, parliament has passed such a law. Yeah. Lord, you have already given me a caution. I said I will finish within the time. I'll finish with the appeal to everybody, even to the treasury bench. Don't be trapped with such a bill which ultimately will kill you. Don't make the democracy absolutely a farce. Let the representative government survive and the principle be extolled by the constitutional principles. With this, I appeal to you, reject this bill. I appeal to you to all, reject this bill. Thank you. Very good. Sri Anil Prashad Hegde. Seven minutes. <coughs> I'd like to say there are a couple of references that have been made to Honorable Chief Minister Shri Naveen Patnaik He is not a member of the House. So any remarks thereof may be kindly examined and dispensed. One, 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 sir. Sir, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. The second is a reference. The second, sir, sir, I'm not yielding. I'm not, I'm not yielding. I'm not yielding, sir. I'm not yielding. The second is with reference to the Odisha government, sir, as well. We are open to discussions on that. We can talk about 239AA and why it only serves the Delhi government, because Delhi has a special place, is sui generis, which has been provided by the Supreme Court. Therefore, to talk about any other government is not appropriate. The same may kindly be examined, sir. I will examine and sir, take a call. Thank you. Shri Anil Prashad